What's up guys, Opcat here and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Last time, uh, you may have noticed the audio sounded really weird. Yes, it turns out um, my audio software uh, decided to update itself and change all these settings to be new and fancy and, and it messed up all my settings. So that wasn't fun. So I've had to sort of finagle something back. I have no idea if it sounds as good as it did before. I think it's passable. It's better than the previous video anyway. So, yeah, hopefully that won't be too jarring. I love it when things update and change all of the settings you had set. And then you don't even realise because why would I look at them? <laughs> I didn't expect it would ever change itself. Anyway, here we are. So, let's jump back down to Fistons. I'm going to knock out the key room. Probably do two bell, and then Enoch. We'll just have to see how things go. Mhm. Mm oh, this is Dagger and what is it? Dam Dagger and Hammer Boy. Mhm. Mm Whoa. He apparently is a triple dash. Yeah, okay, didn't expect to get him like that, but it's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, got him. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Where's the chest? Over here? Oh no, it's down in the middle. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Yes, the audio change really did bother me. I didn't even know about it until I rendered out the video and I was like. Why does my audio sound absolutely god awful? Well, these things happen. Won't be the first time. I just hope the settings I've got now are somewhat acceptable. Hello. Uh -huh. Come on then, open up. Let's go do too well. Mm -hmm. Uh, hammers aren't the worst. That was just dumb of me. Well, that was quick. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's this one? Oh, falling swords. Of course. Mm hmm. <laughs> I look forward to when that's going to be double waved. This one is plays inside the room. Oh no. Falling swords, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. Turns out when they're not primed, it's actually uh, a bit easier. Who would have thought? Mm hmm. You, how many souls? Four fifty. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Just leaves Enoch. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see if we win against Enoch. Uh, yeah, I don't remember if there was any more rooms I left behind. I'll go here for a second and have a quick look. Those question mark rooms are probably just scars, though. Let's have a look. Oh, no, that's the archery room. Yeah, I found that room. <laughs> I didn't bother showing it. It's just a scar in the study. Okay. Up to the throne room. Mm-hmm. And for the fun bit. Okay, Enoch. Here we go. Mm -hmm. The false scholar. Extra Enoch Prime. Well, dishing out the damage already, which is good. Yep. Uh, be taking that damage not so good. Uh oh. Get out of his uh, radius. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, he still got me. <laughs> yeah, it turns out double war drums uh, gives you a lot of damage to play with. 
Mm -hmm. Now this one concerns me. Those jellies are going to be annoying. Mm -hmm. Ow. Fine, get to the other side of him. I'm going to take some damage. It's inevitable, unfortunately. You know, let's just burst him down. Yeah. Oh dear. Nah, he caught me anyway. Ow. Come on. Got him. Very sloppy. Just fortunately we had more than enough damage to deal with him. Mm-hmm. For love. Okay. His uh, memories are going to be very interesting. So it was for pride... For justice, for survival, for love. I'm guessing the next one will be for honor or something. Okay. Enoch crumples a, the despicable letter in his hand. He has been reprimanded for not spreading his seed. How preposterous. He saw the letter for the charade it was. A formal attempt to uh, perpetu perpetuate a thoroughly detestable and toxic tradition. And he, for one, refused to acknowledge its legitimacy. He understood that one of the estuary, pri estuary, one of the estuary's primary duties was to keep the legacy growing, but the kingdom of Genesis has grown so much that its population now rivals that of the surface. This tradition, this tradition now only served to satisfy an estuary's carnal appetite and their desires to subjugate. He had made he had made clear his disdain for this practice numerous times, but his rem remonstrations fell on deaf ears. I definitely didn't pronounce that word correctly. Let the others carry on their traditions. One true partner was more than enough for him. I think we know who that partner was. Enoch's makeshift, makeshift observatory hangs precariously off the edge of the eastern ramparts of the Stygian study. He instructed his assistant, High Scholar Murmur, to open the windows while he carefully adjusts the telescopic lens, taking in the breadth of the Kingdom of Genesis. The lens slowly pans across the spires of the Citadel of Gartha, beyond the burning bridges of Axis Monday, and the lands on the gate and lands on the gatehouse leading to the Kerglian Plateau. Within the gatehouse lies the giant void beast. At its entrance stands Estri Lamech. After the rebellion, Lamech had locked himself into his chambers and refused visitors. It was many months before Enoch could coax him outside, and many more before he convinced before he could convince the legendary spell sword to confront the void beast. But as he watched his brother stand before the giant doors, Enoch knows the effort is for naught. For all the for despite all the fury and bravado, bravado, Lamech is a soldier, and slaying the Void Beast is in direct, direct violation of Irad's orders. As Lamech turns to leave, Enoch feels a wave of despair overtake him and loses his strength. High Scholar Murmur tries to steady his master, but Enoch crumples to the floor. The gravity of the gravity of the situation is suffocating, and now he is left with no choice. In order to save Namar and the villagers, Irad has to die. A piece of the black root finally falls to the floor and Enoch slumps down next to it in exhaustion. His fingertips, now black and gnarled, hum with a resonant pain as the poison seeps through his body. Despair settles over him as his mind goes over his recent failures. He failed to evacuate Namar and the villages before the gate was sealed. He failed to cure the dragon to stop the eternal winter. He failed to convince Lamech to stand against Irad Irad's orders. All he succeeded in doing was poisoning himself and High Scholar Murmur. But it was due to this malignant growth weaving its way but it was all due to this malignant growth weaving its way through the kingdom. Despair gave way to anger as Enoch grabs a knife off the floor. He hacks mercilessly, mercilessly at the black roots, and each strike and with each strike his anger grows. His attack his attacks become more and more visions until all that's left is an impossibly knotted core. He stabs it. He stabs it until the tip of his blade breaks. Hmm. With his anger redoubled, Enoch grabs the knot in his gnarled hand, wishing to tear it out in frustration. But his fingers make no contact. He is shocked as they make no purchase. Instead, they slide effortlessly within. In that instant, he feels his whole body adrift and a white light explodes in his head. 
Enoch finds himself floating in space, free from the confines of his body. He does not know how he does not know how he knows this, but he is now part of the Black Root, and he can sense all it can he can sense he and can sense all it can sense. The route stretch for millions of miles across countless other worlds and planes of existence. He realized the knot he struck was only a single point in the network of routes that exist in his world. Gone is the study. As new planes of experiences open up within his mind. In one world, it seems to it seems the dead roam freely across the land, and flying metal cubes swarm in the sky. In another, a battle rages at the foot of a massive armored tortoise as it explodes. As explosive weaponry fires out from its metallic shell. Enoch tries to reach out with his mind and grasp any artifact he can, if only to convince himself it is real. He reaches for a strangely shaped drill here and a black metal hammer there. Everything he touches vanishes from sight. Somehow he knows they are, somehow he knows they are being pulled into his world, like a faded memory forcing back into clarity through, through sheer rec recollection. I think we know the drill. I think that's a relic we can get. Is the hammer Hephaestus's hammer? And despite the sensory overload, he can still sense the black roots pulling at him. It is pulled. It is a pull that absorbs the souls of the dead and dying, and brings them back to a growing light tree in the center of it all. Countless different worlds, each with their own Stygian manifestation, feeding their own tree. Some trees are saplings, while others are so large their branches wrap around the moon. Yet. Despite each tree being different from the next, Enoch knows they are one and the same. He wants to say and learn more, to experience more, but he can feel the tree rejecting his body. As Enoch awakens, he is horrified to find the black roots envelop most of his body. He knows he cannot save himself, but he needs time to recreate the poison, if only, if it is the only thing powerful enough to stop him bad. But he can feel the strength draining from his body, and his limbs harden like wood. He needs to find a surrogate to transfer his consciousness into before the roots take over him. The life of a mimic chest is proving more trying than anticipated. Transferring his soul into this new vessel brought him precious time, but without proper limbs he is forced to use his former body as a puppet to perform the actual work needed. He also realises it would be impossible for him to infect Irad with the poison once he has concocted it. That duty would have to fall to someone else. There is no time to find a trustworthy candidate. He can feel the black roots pulling at his mind. Soon he will be gone, and the rest will be left up to fate. Enoch scrunches into the makeshift observatory with his wooden puppet in tow. Behind him, a bridge that once connected his chambers to the study, to the study's ramparts is now gone, displaced into another plane of existence. It is the last precaution necessary to safeguard the poison. He hopes the clues he left behind will be enough to find a worthy successor. Hmm. Enoch tries peering through the telescope one last time, but the ash clouds have become so dense that Namar's domain can no longer be seen. With a heavy heart, he summoned his wooden body to his work desk and wills it to put pen to paper. Come to read my memories, have you? Don't be shy. I knew this day would come. Hmm. That's why the mimic chest is the true estuary. Because he transferred his soul out of his body and into... Um, into the mimic chest. Makes sense. <laughs> okay then. Well, that just leaves the next memory for uh, for Jonah. Mhm. Mm Garden of Eden. In fact, before we go any further, the vial of poison should be over here. It was never used. No, was it used on the red? Mhm. Mm I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, because Jonah took the poison and injured Irad. Or oh. again, we meet again, traveller. I have a confession. Before I became a rebel soldier, I was general of the Citadel's army and known as the Master of Swords. Even after secretly switching sides, I did not halt my duties as the estuaries would bring questions. I can't remember this one, haven't I? Mm -hmm. the pressure brought me. I failed. Uh -huh. I'm sure I read this one. You arrived. Um, the King Falls and all right. Yeah. I'm sure I've read that one. But which one am I missing? Uh, read that one. Mm hmm. What's 
this one then. Hmm. I just realised I forgot to get the blue scar for, for um, Enoch. It's alright, we'll get it in the next run. Unless I read this one myself <laughs> some other time. Like on the website or whatever. Mm hmm. Well, hello. Mm hmm. But as we said, the loop continues. <coughs> in, your absence, I've, in your absence, I've taken the time to speak to Chairman. He's not much of a conversationalist, he's a good listener. Do you know the Chthonic gods are considered benevolent beings? They appear during grim times in human history to help us through. All the gods you have met on your journey have aided you in their own way. Except Charon. Greece is, uh, Geras cleanses the trauma of our past. Elpis paves the way for a future. And the Kira siblings renew the souls they consume. Yet Charon takes and gives nothing in return. He may seem to be the black sheep of, in the family. I believe there is more to it than that. For many... Greed is the greatest sin. Humans will steal, steal, cheat, lie, and kill for wealth. Kings and pharaohs bury themselves with riches as people starve in the streets. Charon takes that all away. He strips you of your greatest weakness before you embark on your divine journey. Or perhaps these are the musing, musings of an idealistic soldier who is ready to meet his end. Facing mortality makes philosophers, philosophers of us all, friend. Come, my blade has been waiting. <laughs> Ugh. Master of Swords, Jonah. Uh-oh. He's got a pizza. Watch out. Oh. That's a shame. What's a waste of a perfectly good opportunity then. Oh. Pizzaing me again. My, uh... Is at the other end of the room. Yeah. Wow, that track's far. I should have du ducked underneath him, really. Oh, missed it. Got it. It's fine, you stay just there. Got him. Not bad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. May bring you luck in the battles ahead. I don't remember getting this last time, did I? That must have done. Yeah. King away shield. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, all the same stuff as last time. Okay. In we go. Mm hmm. Yep. Well, to be fair, I don't think we can go any other direction, so I think we have to. <laughs> yep, up we go. Knight, 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 knight. Assassin with boxing gloves. Mage with a soldier staff. Pirate, knight, knight, knight. Um, I forget what you had. You had a dragon lance. Night, night, night. Well, running. You died. Night, 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 night. Ranger with a gunslinger. Or ranger with a pistol, I should say. The night. Yes, you can sense a running theme with which classes I like to take. Mm -hmm. In fact, before I do this, one moment. Okay, then. Hello, once again. Mm hmm. Yeah, bite, bite, brother, betrayer, blah, blah, blah. Becomes tree monster. Yeah, the usual. Okay. Don't have the, uh, what you call it, just yet. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Fine state, middle of it. Doesn't this shoot out? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's, uh, blades. Ow. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Now again, just tanking our way through it. Probably not the healthiest option. The other side of him. That one. Okay, fireballs. Mm hmm. There we go. Done. Mm hmm. And poof. <laughs> and that is another new game plus cycle done. Mm hmm. Lovely. Time to leave. You know, one day I'll get the achievement for not escaping the castle in time. One day. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here we go. Plenty of time. Bit of a shame, really, the time it doesn't get shorter as uh, you do more runs. You probably only need a minute to do it. They could shave a minute off with every new game plus cycle. <laughs> Boom. Oh, where we go. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think these guys sell the same thing. Onwards to the end once again. Yay. Lady Ru Lady Ru Ruth? Ruth the Third is a true hero. A victory well deserved. Your story will pass down through the ages. Wee. Killed a lot of enemies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nearly there. <laughs> What's that, like 600? Not more. Oh yes, we're going higher than 600. Nearly 700. Not bad. <laughs> yep. Skeletons. Axes. <laughs> I haven't seen the middle one for them yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, how much change between true Enoch Prime and uh, regular Enoch? He's next. Cool. Nice as a fast forward button. <laughs> oh, we there yet? Not quite. We feel sick looking at that. 
Okay. Yeah, we have a vampire. Hmm. We've seen that one before. Uh, do I take a duelist? I'll take a duelist for a change. Mm -hmm. I won't buy anything just yet. Yep. Vampirism is what? Yeah, 20% weapon damage is health, but you take 125% more damage. Hmm. Ouch. Uh, you know, I'm really tempted to get... Oh, that won't go any higher. Cool. I'm tempted to get um, more of this one. Absolute strength. I think I will. Uh, is 10 the max? It is 10. 10 is the max. <laughs> sure, why not? Um... Left a lot of these at some point. Uh, leave it. Get back to the castle. Mm -hmm. Can I get all four of those? I can indeed. Thank you. 20% extra crit rate. Lovely. Uh, get that maxed out. Max that out. Uh, oh, I want to say something for gear, didn't I? Go to the blacksmith for a second. Hmm. I can unlock the final resolve stuff, so I, you know, probably should. Mm -hmm. There we go. Minimum resolve 30. Um, we'll have to look at the scholar stuff. Go all out with that one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, magic crit. I thought it was. Sanguine set. Um, what do I need? Like, I can get with plus two. Plus three. Um, plus two, but I can't afford it because I'm out of cash. In that case, we'll go back to what we are wearing before. Um, Ammonite. Warden. Warden. There we go. But hey, at least we're actually seeing now uh, what the final levels are. Minimum resolve, crit bonus, crit bonus. I think that's just lifesteal, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I don't think I can afford anything else in here now, though. Nope. I spent all of my money. That's fine. Onwards. Game plus five. You know, the one improvement I would like to see with this, honestly, is that it'd be nice if I could get two bosses per new game plus rather than just one. Because one is getting a little bit annoying. Um... You know, one of these ones... Is it this one? I forget what these do. One of these adds a new enemy, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the next one. Um, you know what? One moment and I'll just have a look. Okay, you know what? Let's add Burden of the Royal... Of Agatha's Royal Guard. Hmm. That's going to add extra flaming wheels, but it will also add new enemies, which will be interesting to see. Yes, I've spent all my money. We we are vampire going back in time. And split, like always. Okay, back to it. Mm-hmm, we brought a bit of money. I will admit, I don't know how well I'm going to do with the duelist. It's been a while. Hello, tractor, bus. I don't know which one. How bad is it? Eh, not so bad. Done less damage before. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hmm. I don't even have any relics going on at the moment, so... Not a shocker that I'm not uh, dealing the same damage I was in the uh, room we just had. You know. 
pretty difficult to beat double war drums. Hmm. Unless I have, you know, a whole bunch of Ambrosius and Rage Teachers. Really get that damage stacked up. What was Vampire again? Yes. You gain 20% weapon damage as health, but you take 125% more damage. Does that mean I take 25% more damage? Or do I literally take double damage? I think I'm taking like 2.25% more damage or times 2.25 more damage. Hmm. So instead of taking 100, that's the wrong one. I'll end up taking um, 225. That might sting a bit. Well, we'll just have to see how far we go. Hope for it. Mm -hmm. And we're back once again. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay then. Well. Ooh. We have crossbows in the capital now. A lot of crossbows. Hello. Now the skeleton wasn't dead. I just took 700 points of damage from running into an enemy. Yes. I do in fact take double damage. And I'm dead. <laughs> well. Forget about taking vampires in future, blooming heck. I literally was too short. Granted, I walked into them, but even still. Ow. Uh, do I want the boxer with this katana? Hmm. Sure. Been a while since I had a katana run. That's how far we'll go with it. Who knows? Hello again. Crazy, ti crazy times down here, kid. It's been a long time, but sometimes it feels like ages ago since I first landed on these docks. Wonder if I'm falling behind on the world of blacksmithing. Mm -hmm. Hello again. Failed the clever monkey. Oh, God. Uh, there's a circus trainer. Clever circus trainer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very clever peanuts. I mean bananas. Hmm. Yeah. It's a, oh, the clever monkey entered this clever tent and then the clever circus trainer ate the monkey. Eventually he'll get caught. Also, I forgot how the story ended. Yeah, if you remember, last time that was one with a lion, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Well, fun times with the architect. Okay, maybe this time this one will go a little better than the uh, previous one. I was actually looking forward to that duelist. And I got two shots. Mm -hmm. Two damage, not bad. Oh. That was a bit risky. Oh, got him. Um, what's my crit chance is forty-seven percent. Very nice. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know what my super crit chance is, and I don't think I can find out until I go back to town. So. Also, wow, this room became a lot worse all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough waffling. I'll rejoin you all if something happens. Well, first relic room, and it was only just above the uh, spinning balls of death. I'll take double ambrosia. Quite a heavy expense early on. Oh, hello. What we get in here. Maybe roots is tempting. I'll take a Demeter's. You have to be careful though, because I can't teleport between um, between rooms like I used to be able to. Done. Oh my god, thank god for that pizza. My neck. Well, that's nice at least. Mm -hmm. Oh, and gear. Just as I was about to stop talking. Okay, well, thank you. Now I'm going to stop talking. Okay, Relic Room. What is it? I don't want an Amateur Asterisk again. I will take a Wardrums, however. Hello, Wardrums. Great to see him. Yeah, yeah. Same thing as last time. Might actually be one-shotting some enemies now. Let's have a look. Not quite. Oh, really? Hmm. Need more Relics. Boost it up even more. 
And we're at Lamech as well. I was just considering whether or not I actually wanted to, you know, bring it up. But, yeah. Thought we're there. Might as well. Okay. Oh, hello. First time I've seen one of them. Cool. Okay. We've arrived at Fiston's. How much is it going to cost? 28,000. Not as much as I thought. To be pricier. Still expensive. Um, where do I want to go? Where am I going? Back up the way I came. Fair enough. Hang on a minute. I just noticed something. We have a dwarf house, which means we have a hidden chest. Quenching rune. Lovely. I was going to say, I was going through here and I was like, hang on a minute, that's a crack there. I've seen this room layout before. Hmm. Excellent. More runes. Hey, another relic room. I appreciate the Hyperions. And the uh, cutter's shell. Cornucopia. Hmm. I didn't really want to risk the last reroll. It could have been well, it could have been something fantastic, but it also could have been something absolutely useless. And I'd rather take something that I have used in the past. Good lord, he's spinning. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather take something I have used before to uh, decent effect than take nothing at all. Mm hmm. There you go. Take all my money. Also, I just realised I made it stupid again. I found the entrance to Axis Monday, but I didn't enter Axis Monday. So I didn't want to go there just yet. I should have just stuck my head in, because that would have given me a teleporter. And then I could have just teleported back down. Keep doing that. I must remember not to do that with the Sun Tower. But the Sun Tower is one of those places that is annoying to get back to. Mm-hmm. Okay, give me a teleporter, please. Thank you. Take all of my money. I am now poor again. And I have 125% extra... Uh, extra what do you call it? Extra gold gain, so... If I wasn't playing Contrarian, that would have taken a lot longer. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Off I go. We'll give this a try. See, I've done this one before. Shot that. Shot at the far side. Okay. Oh no. There we go. Lovely. Mm hmm. Reinforced rune. Fantastic. Okay. Nice, easy fairy chest. Always nice to get those ones. Hey, finally. Now, if I'm not mistaken. We can take this incandescent telescope and the edge of this incandescent telescope is the exact range of the crit zone of our sword, if I'm not mistaken. So basically, I can see if an enemy's in range now. See? Hmm. I've been wanting to do this for a while, actually. Some fun with the incandescent telescope and the Ronin. Nice to finally get it. How much is it? It's an extra... 12%. Not that much. Well, I'll say that. Not as much as it could be. But it's uh, nice to have an exact guide marker as to where my crit zone is. My guaranteed crit zone, I should say. Hmm. Uh-oh. And we're at the Sun Tower. So, let's get it unlocked. Oh boy, it's expensive. <laughs> well, fortunately, we only have one more place now to unlock, and that's uh, Kerglian. Make our way over there. Okay, another relic room. Um, hmm. I don't think I want face dice. Okay, sure. Why not? I mean, yes, I appreciate it. I did want that. Didn't want it quite this moment, though, I will admit. 
But hey, I have it now. All I have to do now is make sure I don't plunge to my death. Or walk into a spike trap or something stupid. Not off to a good start with this little room layout, are we? Grab this chest. Ooh, boy. Ooh, here as well. Mm -hmm. Now, annoyingly, that guy is a uh, shielded. Play my cards, right? I should be able to get him. Ooh, only just. My neck. <laughs> mm hmm. So far, so good. Just have to not screw up. Are we at the end? Not quite. Okay. So, remember, it's slightly outside of the uh, ring. Mm -hmm, that's the sweet spot. Got to use the, uh, the little dots on the uh, ring to aim my shots. We got left. Oh, one more. Oh, okay, cool. Who's gonna be the lucky one? Of course, it had to be one of these rooms. Got it. Ooh. A never enjoyable. <laughs> really depends on where you are, though, I suppose. Okay, what you got in here then? Mm hmm. Okay. Take neither. That's a lot of extra bonus damage. I'll take a red sand. Mm -hmm. More damage from wardrooms. Just straight up more damage in general. Can't go too wrong. That's actually timed it just about right. Now I can head straight over to Kerglian. Mm -hmm. And get Kerglian unlocked. Hello. Yep, excellent. Okay then, well, <clears throat> I hit the hour mark, so I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like, subscribe to all, comment as well, and I shall see you all next time.